So here, a process of replication results in formation of daughter DNA. We will conclude the chapter with what is genes. When we are talking about genes, you are on the monitor for you. Genes are specific sequence of nucleotides on a chromosome that encode particular protein which expresses in the form of some particular feature of the body. When we talk about genes, you should know that lot of regions in between genes are non-functional. Such areas show a tremendous variation from individuals to individuals and they help us in identification of individuals by a very popular word that we all know, DNA fingerprinting. At this end, we are concluding our chapter which is cell division and structure of chromosomes. After taking an account of this entire chapter, we will now take into account the board questions that were asked in our ICAC board exams. Questions from this chapter can be related to a diagram, question can be a comparison, questions that are asked can even test your knowledge. What do I mean by saying testing your knowledge? One such question has featured in the year 2008. On the monitor, the question for you. And the question reads, draw a diagram of the nucleus of a cell. Read the question carefully. Having chromosome number 6, the number 6 is important, as it would appear in the metaphase stage of mitosis and label the following parts in the diagram. The labeling is asked for asters, the achromatic spindle, the chromatid and the centromere. The most important thing is that here is the diagram that you have to draw in which you have to show 
the number of chromosomes. What is the name of the phase? Metaphase. So, where are the chromosomes? At the equator. What is the number? The number is 6. So, what is the total number of chromosomes that you will draw? 6. Along with that, on the monitor, you can see the labeling for centromere, the labeling for chromatid, the labeling for achromatic spindle and also for asters. If you have understood the entire part of mitosis, it becomes easy for you to explain the position of the chromosomes and also do the labeling. This was a question that was asked in the year 2008. Let us take an account of some more questions that were asked in our ICAC board exam. The questions that we were talking about was with reference to a diagram previously. Now we'll take into account a question to test your knowledge. See this question that was asked in the year. And the question reads, match the term in column B with a suitable idea given in column A. Now read properly what's given in column A and column B. See to it that you read each and every sentence properly to give a right answer. The first one is chromosomes become arranged in a horizontal plane at the equator. Look at the other side. It is anaphase, prophase, telophase and metaphase. So what should be the right answer for the first one? It is arranged where? At the equator. So the answer should be it is metaphase. Take the second one. Daughter chromosomes move to opposite poles of the spindle. And what should be the answer? Here on the right side in column B. It's written there as prophase. Is it prophase? No. Answer has to be anaphase. Take the third one. Chromosomes become visible as fine long threads and here the answer should be prophase. And in the fourth one, chromosomes lose their distinctiveness and gradually becomes transformed into chromatin network. And here the answer should be the remaining one that is telophase. So read the sentences properly. Try to recall what you have already studied and then answer such question. There is one more question that featured in the same year 2002 and the question is Choose the correct answer to the following the question that's given over there is duplicated chromosomes are joined at a point termed as. See there are four terms given over there. It is centrosome, centromere, centriole and chromatid. So what should be your right answer? The answer is centromere. Such type of questions which are featuring in this chapter can go in the category of two marks three marks or even with a diagram representation for five marks. Let's see some more questions if that are featured in our ICSE board exam. In our board papers, we are given time to read our paper. When you're reading the paper in this time limit that is given to you, you have to read some of the questions very carefully because these are the questions which gives you maximum marks. You know that the question which is for five marks can be a question with many sub questions. Here, you have the time that we read a paper. You have to see to it that you see the diagram carefully. You take an account of the questions which are there. Try recalling what we have already studied and then attempt such questions. The questions that can feature in section 1 and section 2, we know that these questions, they normally come for 5 marks, which is a big question. <laughs>